this video we're going to be making a budget PC that's affordable for everyone. This video is a full tutorial so you know everything to make this computer work. Let's get to unboxing these parts. The CPU we're going to be using is the Intel Core i3-12100F. This CPU is a great budget gaming CPU that only costs $99 Australian. We'll also be using a terabyte of M.2 storage. The RAM we'll be using is 16GB DDR4 Corsair Vengeance. The motherboard we'll be using is the H610M Gaming Wi-Fi. To supply power to this build, we're going to be using the Thermaltake Light Power Gen 3. For the GPU, we'll use the RX 6600 which is great power for the price. This is the Thermaltake View 170. The View 170 looks amazing and it only cost me 68 Australian dollars. This case is pre-installed with 3 ARGB fans which will make this PC look stunning. Before we do anything to the case, we need to work on our motherboard. This is the H610M meaning that it's micro ATX and it will fit the case nicely. This motherboard is one of the cheapest motherboards with ARGB headers and Wi-Fi. The i3-12100F includes a stock cooler which is great for this budget. The very first thing you want to do is unlatch the hook and pull the socket up. Our next step is to install the CPU. Look at the corner of your CPU and match it to the motherboard. After you line the CPU, pop it in, put the socket down and this should come right off. And then you put the hook back where you found it and there, your CPU is installed. Now it's time for the cooler. Align the CPU cooler's four holes on the motherboard with the four sticks on the CPU cooler, align it and push it down. And then find the CPU fan header right there and plug it in. After you've plugged it in, make sure to push down all four pins so it doesn't move. This is the easiest, the RAM. All you gotta do to install RAM is unlatch these latches and line up the RAM stick with the RAM slot. After you've aligned it, push it down with a little bit of force and it should click into place. There we go, that RAM stick is securely inserted. Now you get the other RAM stick and basically do the same on the other RAM slot. To install the M.2 on this specific motherboard, it's actually really weird. You see this little knob thing, you pull it out and a little stick comes out. And then you align the M.2 SSD, push it in, push it down, and then push the stick through the hole it came from. With the motherboard that's complete, we're going to move on to the case. Inside the case, there should be a little baggie with all the screws and the instructions. Slide in the motherboard in the case and check to see if your standoffs are aligned. If not, they should come with little standoffs where you can install to add. Make sure you use the right screws for the motherboard. We've got the motherboard installed and now we gotta work on the hard stuff. Let's start with the case cables. The case cables are connected to your case and you connect these to your motherboard. The first cable is the front panel connector. In this case, it's very easy because it's in one piece. The front panel connector plugs in right there. Next is the HD audio and USB 3.0 cables. The USB 3.0 cable is quite easy. See that spot that says USB 3.2? On the cable there's a little notch where you align the notch on the cable casing. Lastly for the HD audio, find a port on your motherboard that says HD audio and plug it in. Now this is a jumble, all these cables come from the fans. To daisy chain them, you plug in the fan ARGB cables with the other ARGB cables on the other fans. You should be able to plug them in and it should all end up in one port where you plug in the motherboard. Same with the fan cables, this case comes with a fan splitter so you plug in the fan power cables that all plug into the motherboard. You want to plug in the ARGB cable on that spot right there. After you've daisy chained and plugged in the fans, it's time to put in the power supply. First, you want to make sure the power supply is facing down so the power supply can get some air. And then align it and put it in so the four screws align. After you've aligned the power supply, use the ATX screws included with the case to screw it in. This looks like a mess but I'll make it easy for you. First, you want to find the cable that says CPU. The CPU cable plugs in right there. So you want to try and route it throughout the back to keep cable management nice and neat. The next cable you need to plug in is the 24 pin motherboard connector. The motherboard connector is right there on the side. We'll route it throughout the case to make the computer nice and neat. 
Right, we got all the cables plugged in. Now it's time for the GPU. Let's install the RX 6600 Eagle. Remove two slots from the back so the GPU fits. Line the GPU, put the notch down and push it in. Now, our very last step is to put in the PCIe power cable. Find the cable from your power supply that says PCIe and plug it into the side right there. Now neatly tuck away the second cable so it looks nice. There we go, the PC is done, now it's time to boot it. Now for the moment of truth, let's see if this computer boots on. Oh, we got some RGB, that's a good sign. It works! This PC is a masterpiece. It is absolutely stunning and only costs 778 Australian dollars. It can also handle games at 1080p very easily, way over 60 FPS. I think this is the best budget PC you can get at the moment. How did I do? Make sure to comment and subscribe down below.